पंकज इज आस्किंग आर इंटेलिजेंस एंड विवेक द सेम आई कैन स्पीक ऑन इट पंकज बट इज इन द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द होल एक्सरसाइज दैट इट शुड बी यूजफुल are both the same do we know either of them do we know either of them what is intelligence what is vivek you are talking of both and vivek do we know either of them don't want to be harsh but it's like a man who has never come out of his village his village is somewhere in uttar pradesh and he is asking what is the distance between berlin and amsterdam what will you do with that what must you ask which road which gali takes me out of my little confined remote village instead we are asking are both and vivek the same as if both are there with you one in the right pocket and the other in the left how does it relate to your life ha huh? how does it relate to your life you already have so much knowledge you are well educated you have degrees from universities you are talking to me not because you need more knowledge but because you need freedom from afflictions i can give you theoretical answers pankaj i will give you but i'm still wondering how will this help you improve your life it is not at all my desire to make you more well versed i don't intend to make you more knowledgeable i want to see you free i want to see you joyful a popper is asking what is bigger two trillion euros or three trillion dollars the fellow is asking what is bigger 2 trillion euros or 3 trillion dollars the question can be answered how is it helpful hmm? both and vivek you have to start with where you are that's one thing that you must learn so the mind remains caught in various kinds of rubbish various states one of the states of the mind is when the mind takes the unreal as real when the mind takes the fleeting as permanent when the mind takes the false as true when the mind takes the undependable as the dependable 
when the mind gains purity then the mind is able to discriminate between light and darkness between real and unreal between dependable and undependable this is called discretion or vivek it is nothing but the mind's nearness to the truth the mind is nearing the truth and is able to see what all is false about itself seeing what is false as different from what is true is called vivek so what is vivek looking at truth from the point where one was not able to rightly discriminate only then the term vivek has some meaning otherwise vivek has no meaning falseness does not exist really so what does one mean by differentiating between true and false when the false really does not even exist so absolutely in the absolute term the word vivek has no significance but the word vivek has great significance when you start from the position of the jeev when he was confused and not able to discriminate rightly so when you start from that position then the term vivek becomes meaningful who am i right now who is not able to discriminate and i gain purity and who am i now who is able to discriminate what have i gained the term is called vivek i have gained vivek i was not able to discriminate i moved towards the truth and i was then able to discriminate and this is called vivek no vivek exists in truth because in truth there is nothing to be discriminated against vivek has some meaning some significance only when you are talking of the corrupted mind do you get this because only the corrupted mind is engrossed in the false so only the corrupted mind has a need to gain vivek by gaining vivek it will be able to discriminate and how is vivek gained just as everything else that is good is gained by moving towards the one truth move towards the truth and you gain discrimination and you gain vivek hmm? then is the term intelligence that you have used what is intelligence to understand intelligence you have to again go back to where you are and then you will have to talk of foolishness what is foolishness who is a fool talk of your current state not in terms of the absolute truth who is a fool describe yourself i am not able to understand what are the characteristics of a foolish man ashtavak keeps saying the fool does this the fool does not do this who is a fool when do you call somebody a fool so i'm trying to drive home a point and you're not getting it to me the point is obvious who is a fool who can not see the obvious so who is a fool who keeps thinking of this and that without seeing the obvious truth directly what is intelligence then truth is simple and one sees it simply that is intelligence but the word intelligence also has significance only in the context of foolishness just as vivek has significance only in the context of confusion 
when you are confused then you need vivek and when your eyes are blurred then you need intelligence both make any sense only in terms of where you are right now if you feel you cannot see the obvious then you need intelligence and if you feel that you remain confused all the time then you need vivek that is why pankaj i am asking where is your life in this how will this help you i have given you theoretical definitions i have told you when is vivek significant and i have told you when is both significant but when will either of these be useful to you when you first of all acknowledge where you are if you are confused then vivek is what you must pray for hmm if you are distracted there is a haze on the mind then both understanding intelligence is what you must pray for come up with your condition then the answer will become lively for you otherwise the answer is just a piece of information hmm? now you see why so many of these words are associated with the truth one says truth is peace why does one say truth is peace because one starts from a point of restlessness because you are restless and when you move towards truth the restlessness drops so you say truth is peace actually truth is not peace but truth is peace for the restless mind what else do you say about truth truth is joy now you are bored and depressed and when you move towards the truth the boredom and the depression go away, go away. so you say truth is joy. joy truth is not joy either when you say sachidanand ghan that is not a description of truth that is a description of the mind that is moving towards the truth is proximate to the truth you are an idiot you move towards the truth you gain sharpness so you say truth is intelligence truth is not intelligence it's just that when you move towards the truth your foolishness went away so you start saying that truth is intelligence do you get this and that is why truth has been likened to light so many times why because one remains in a metaphorical darkness. darkness and when moves towards the truth then the darkness goes away so one says truth is light truth is not light it's just that the mind lives in darkness so you start saying truth is peace truth is joy truth is light and uh, love and what not because you live in hatred and violence and when you move towards the truth the hatred and the violence drop so you start saying that truth is love truth is actually not love so anything related to truth vivek bodh anand mukti have meaning only in context of your current state pankaj tell me your state only then we can talk hmm?